Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing some Balanced Droid, and if you watched my ne um, Necrolord Feral Droid video yesterday, I got my double legendary on this tune. So, if you also did see the, that video, uh, you will know I pretty much said it sucks for Necrolord Feral. Um, I feel like it'll be okay for Boomy, but for the most part, this legendary sucks compared to like Nightbay and Bastion and all that. So it's not really too impressive, I'm mostly just using it for the stats, but yeah. Gonna try it out as Balanced Droid, and that's pretty much my uh, plan for today. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and just start some AoEs. And this is the perfect map for our uh, Necrolord Balanced Droid, because with the amount of Star Falls you'll be doing, you'll be doing a lot of Starburst damage. And with that, you'll be doing just, it's, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be absolutely crazy. So just doing some massive AoE Starfall. This is probably the best map other than if you also have not seen um, a 40 second clip I just posted on my channel a while back. I AoE'd the, uh, like 15 people down at once in an AV tower. That's like the only other time Starfall, Starburst is pretty dang insane. And yeah, we pretty much slaughtered them in the middle. I don't really care for this map, but it's very, very nice when you're playing as a range class like uh, Balanced Drake and just AoE everybody down. So, I don't like playing melee on this map for pretty much, I'm sure a lot of people can understand if you play a melee main, because I main Feral. And, uh, yeah, you get knocked off in middle like you saw, like, at least six people got knocked off in middle from what I saw. Uh, and yeah, it's just pretty dang, uh, bad on this map to play melee. But anyways, uh, we did win the battle for middle. There is clearly four rogues, so we gotta watch out for towers. I just can't have a day without having uh, so many rogues in one battle round, can I? Just the way it is, man. Just the way it is. Who's that over there? It's a mage. I'm sure they can kill, kill one mage, right? He can handle one lowly mage. He's turning behind anyways. Alright, unfortunately, our teammate decided to cap. So guess what? They're about to... Oh, come on! A split second. If I literally was like a split second, uh, like a millisecond sooner. Oh my god, that is... Oh, screw you. Oh, oh come on! That would have been perfect. That would have been sweet justice. Abort mission, abort mission, abort mission, abort mission, abort, abort. Dude, if I knocked off that priest, that would have been justice right there. Consider ourselves lucky. I'm going for those mind controls. Is she holy? Of course she is. Well, everybody's holy. Why aren't you even asking? <laughs> oh, man. Because I feel like, I think all priests except for Shadow have a knockback, right? I don't know if it's just disc or not. Holy has like everything. They have a greater fade. They have immune to CC for 30 seconds. Uh, I don't even know what Holy doesn't have anymore. They can go in the air like a demon hunter. <laughs> it's like they have everything. They even have lay on hands. Okay. Oh, we actually lost the tower. I didn't even see that. Hello, Demon Hunter. I wasn't even targeting you. You really want to go? Go ahead and go to the graveyard. You need to get another base. I don't know where to go. I can't. I don't think I can solo a tower. They just have too many rogues and stealthers. So I'm just kind of sticking with the group for now. Even if we don't get another, uh, another base, we can at least just try and go for some kills, I guess. I also mainly just doing this to test out the Necrolord Legendary. I can definitely notice a little bit more damage increase after getting this Legendary as balanced right though. Gear just makes such a massive difference. Alright, here we go. Come on, big Starfalls. I shouldn't have trinketed that, I don't know why I did. It was only like two seconds. Can I not get derp grip for two seconds of my life, please? Bro, 
this is ridiculous. The amount of freaking. St I'm actually getting them all pretty dang low, so... Yeah, this Star Fall build is just so good. I know I, I say it every time I play Necrol or Boomy, but I freaking love the Star Fall build. We're definitely gonna die here. Keep spamming those star foals for those star bursts. It's actually out of mana. Oh, this guy brought us the flag. How freaking cute, man. How cute. dude please stop chain stunning me and now of course I got chain stunned so I didn't grab the flag in time oh wait somebody else did he's gonna die though I don't know why he's running towards fell river that was a big mistake dude oh somebody else grabbed the flag and we lost mage tower he should have capped it I wanted to at least kill the flag carry in time. Do we at least get another base? All right, we got it. we got another base. <laughs> Two point two million damage. Yeah, this is this is insane. The Necroler Boomy Man. I mean, obviously it's padding the meters type of damage, but the Starburst Starville build is just so freaking fun, man. It is so 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 fun. Still got a flag. Knock him away from our healer. <laughs> I think that knockback last second kind of saved him there. He was about one shot almost there. This is going to be a close match, I feel like. Let's get some more AoE. I wonder if I can reach 4 million damage this part. Nah, it's probably not. It took this long just to get close to 3 million. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to reach it. Come on, let me have it, let me have it, let me have it, let me have it. Ooh, good knockoff. Really, I was going to do that first, but you know what, whatever. I don't even know how many times my legendary has actually jumped anybody. So, but yeah, I feel like it's definitely a lot better as balanced than it is as obviously as Feral. Feral, it's 100% useless because our legendary just pretty much... I've said this millions of times, I don't even know why I bring it up anymore, but it's just because it contradicts our legendary... Oh! It freaking, uh, it did it, it did it. I have a de uh, depth swarm on myself and I have a depth swarm on that priest, so it did split there. I'm gonna die here. I agree, Demon Hunter, run! Here, I'll try and off heal you. 
too late. You're dead. I'm not going to be able to save that. Stay away from the DKs. I am so dead now. Hmm. No! <laughs> I was going to job. Oh, uh, well. Flushcraft quick. Flushcraft quick. Just freaking derp grips, man. This guy is so mad at chat. All the three rogues. Like, how are we supposed to know that, man? Call it out sooner. Well, I'm dead now. Did try to help out Blood Oaf. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this. I think he should have capped when he had the chance. We also should have had more people at Blood Elf. And judging by what I'm seeing, and nobody wants to go help out Blood Elf, I can't solo three rugs, obviously, because I just died to them. So, unfortunately, this is looking like a loss, which is a shame. I feel like we should have won. Like, and as soon as I saw four rugs, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be a gigantic pain in the butt. We slaughtered them in the team fights, but the rogues won them the game. This is kind of what I mean when I, I've said this before. That if there's one class in the game that can change an outcome of a battleground, it's 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 100% rogue. As much as it pains me to say that, rogue can change the outcome of battlegrounds. Obviously certain players can too, depending like if you play your class really well you can do that for battles too, but class specifically wise, Rogue can definitely do that more than any other class in the game. Alright. Well, at least I did get to test out my legendary and I can you guys can clearly see the damage difference is crazy. With um uh with the legendary and all that stuff. I feel like it's more with the stats though, um, but the splitting does kind of help a balance to it a little bit because Necrolord you will be dotting everything up and all that stuff, so. Uh, they win in 60 seconds anyways. I wanted to go for 4 million damage, but 3 million isn't that bad. I will take that. I'm not even going to bother using my cooldowns because there's no point. Should probably use it one more time, but by the time I use it, then uh, everything's pretty much dead, so. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. This is a very good map for Boomy, obviously, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I expect some more Necrolord Boomy. It's a lot of fun. It's probably my favorite for Caster to play right now. Which is kind of funny, because at the start of the expansion, I hated what they did to Balanced Druid. But now that I found Necrolord a while back, it's just been super, super addicting to pop Star, star Balls and Star Burst. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And, uh, shame we didn't win, but, you know, just the way it goes, man. I will catch you guys for the next one. I'm not dying to a rogue last second. You can back off. See you guys later.